Good evening. Welcome to today's health program. We have with us healthcare professionals Dr. Jyoti Reddy Potla and Ramesh Satyakar. Today they will discuss about the outbreak of measles recently in Philippines. Okay. We will get to know few tips from our guest doctors about the measles. Let's let's begin to know about tip by asking our guest doctors. Sir, what is the measles situation in the Philippines? Can you know about that? As of now, 12,700 uh, measles cases have been officially reported by uh, Department of Health and then uh, over half of the measles cases were reported under the age of uh, 5 and then over uh, the measles cases were 63% uh, were uh, not immunized and 19% uh, have been uh, not uh, known about the dose of the immunization and 16% uh, have the unknown uh, unknown uh, immunization records okay yeah. okay doctor can we know about why there, be, there is measles outbreak in the country when a community has immunization coverage the likelihood of measles outbreak increases as the immunization coverage of 80 95 percent almost all children is needed for the com of the community to be fully protected against measles the included protection for the vulnerable members of the population such as infants that are too young to receive vaccination. People who have weakened immune systems and older adults. Okay, doctor, can we know why there is low immunization coverage in the Philippines? Yeah, there are multiple factors that may contribute to the low immunization coverage in Philippines. Inadequate service delivery continues to be a concern uh, at the primary care level and accessibility issues, especially, is hard to reach areas in the Philippines. Okay. Okay, Dr. Jyotish Reddy Potula, can we know what can the parents and caregivers do to protect their children against the measles? Vaccination has been proven to be cost effective against measles. This measles vaccine has been proven to be safe and effective and it has been using since for a long time, from 1990s. Under the routine immunization program, there are free vaccines provided by the government healthcare, healthcare centers for the children with the first doses at nine, nine months old children and the second dose will be given at around 12 months okay so doctor what can parents and caregivers do if they think their child have measles the typical symptoms are rash and fever in addition to rash and fever there may be cough runny nose and arid eyes if you think your child has measles the best thing to do is to get in touch with local healthcare worker or a healthcare professional it is important to bring your child to a healthy healthcare or healthcare professional or a hospital in a very young child high high fever after 3 3 days of rash onset or other signs of severe infection such as breastfeeding difficulties convulsions and diarrhea are more problematic okay okay doctor Sathya, can we know what are the risks to pregnant women if they infected with measles yeah if a woman is not immune to measles and become infected while pregnant, uh, uh, she may face uh, following risk of miscarriage, stillbirth, and the baby may be uh, born prematurely, like uh, before the 37th week of the pregnancy. The baby may have a low birth weight, and also the pregnant woman who who, who have not received the vaccine should be uh, given extra care to avoid the infection. Okay. Okay. Just now we discussed the risk to pregnant women if they infected with measles. Now we will get to know, should pregnant women get vaccinated against the measles? No, no is my answer. Measles vaccines is contraindicated in pregnancy. Okay. If in case a, preg if a, if in case a woman gets a vaccination, she should wait for four weeks before getting pregnant. Okay. Doctor, can breastfeeding mothers breastfeed if they have measles? Yeah. If a nursing mother is diagnosed with measles, the mother should not uh, get a close contact with the child uh, for up to three days after the appearance of the rash. Uh, in order to avoid the uh, infection of the child, the mother should not provide the breast milk at the time of the infection. Okay. So, uh, also, however, uh, the mother sh can uh, can give the breast milk, express breast milk. Doctors, can we know what can health workers do in this situation? Healthcare workers help reduce measles through direct clinical diagnosis and adequate clinical management. This includes giving necessary symptomatic treatment such as adequate fluids, 
इंटेक ऑफ ट्रीटिंग डिहाइड्रेशन प्रिस्क्राइबिंग एंटीबायोटिक्स फॉर फीवर एंटीबायोटिक्स फॉर सेकेंडरी इन्फेक्शन एंड प्रोवाइडिंग विटामिन ए सप्लीमेंट्स हव एवर वर्कर्स शुड एंश्योर दैट दे हैव बीन वैक्सीनेटेड अगेंस्ट मेजल्स टू अवॉइड बींग इन्फेक्टेड दमसेल्स एंड इनएडिकुएटली स्प्रेडिंग द इन्फेक्शन टू अदर्स हेल्थ केयर वर्कर्स शुड ऑल्सो रिपोर्ट एंड मॉनिटर एंड फॉलो ऑल सस्पेक्टेड मेजल्स केसेस can we know anything else about the prevention and control like in a nutshell about the measures yeah as a preventive measure everyone should get vaccinated for with mmr vaccine which includes measles mumps and rubella who world health organization recommended mmr vaccination for everyone as it is a contagious disease which is spread by contact so everyone should get vaccinated so the population will be against this disease okay thank you doctor Thank you thank you thank you for spending your time with us yeah. thank you have a i appreciate nice it